Hey guys, it's Dave Miller and you're watching Cricket Fanatic magazine. Um, I guess it's a mental thing, uh, you know, to be able to finish off well um, in situations that require you to. It, it does take a lot out of your your mental side. Um, physically, obviously, I'm trying as best as I can uh, to get back to the pace that I was at and to hit the areas that, you know, I'm known for hitting. But um, at the moment, it's just trying to keep that confidence going of uh, doing my job at the back end and, and closing out very well. Okay. And I know you haven't been a long time in show, I'm a short time, but how much of the impact has he had on you for something with the mental? He's had a, a massive impact in terms of the mental side. Um, you know, having watched him uh, the way he used to bowl um, has obviously given me a lot of confidence as a young player, knowing that someone like that is, is, is now on my journey. And yeah, he's, he's, he's made sure that I back the skills that I'm good at. And I mean, something like that at the back end, where maybe someone would say, you know, maybe a change up ball was needed, or maybe a Yorker, you know, stick to what's working, and it worked out just well. Um, I knew that, you know, I think it kind of played into my game plan with uh, obviously having them having a lot of left-handers and hitting to the bigger side um, and obviously taking the ball away from the bat. So that kind of helped me a lot. It gave me a lot of confidence knowing that, you know, I had that in the bank um, if I was going to bowl from this end that I did. And I did know that the game speeds up a lot at the back end here. So even 10 runs can seem like a lot um, once, you know, it's becoming a nail biter of a game. So that did play a massive role today. You know, I think that was that was very massive and, and very well done to Buren for that. Um, he seemed to be looking like he was he actually wanted to finish it off, so I think we were very happy to get him at the end there. I think it's it's making everything a lot better, you know. Uh, Boucher is someone who, who's very honest and, you know, we obviously know that there's a lot of fast bowlers now that are, are fighting for a spot. So you've got to be on your A game. Um, if you're not quite there, someone else is going to come in and do the job that you're supposed to be doing. So I don't plan on letting anyone take my spot, so I'm just going to keep playing as best as I can. It's the same guy, he's very consistent to be honest with you and I thought maybe there might be a bit of a change but if anything he's probably gotten a bit harder as well. Yeah. Last one, last one. This is sort of you guys the first step on the way to you know, the winning all the cup later this year. Um, do you think that uh, you're not for the team in terms of confidence can you never boost to hopefully try and win the series and then uh, keep on towards obviously your big one? I think it is a very good start in terms of the T20 stuff. I mean, just to know what you've got in the camp um, after a first series like this, I think will be a massive positive for the South African team. And knowing that we've still got guys that can come in and fill spots um, is very exciting as well. So I think this is very, it's very good for us that we've seen um, something like this already. Um, but there's obviously a lot of cricket still to be played. So. We're still going to see a lot more players come out and shine. Thanks very much. Thank you.